thanks, and he's suffering from a little bit of a uh, cold and laryngitis. It's something that a politician hears worse than anything else. Having laryngitis, and sometimes people say thanks very much for that. But on the uh, serious side, I, you know, it really is a surprise. I knew I was doing a uh, interview with uh, Breakfast Television this morning uh, there at seven o'clock. Uh, little did I know that I'd be escorted uh, down Main Street by a police cruiser and certainly riding in a uh, bus to get me here. But I just want to thank each and every one of you that had a part in this, uh, on this surprise. And I know it's a milestone, but I can share with you it was really never ever part of my bucket list to break any record. <laughs> the, the record, of course, right at this moment is not broke just tied, but tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get asked quite often when I go and run again, and I will honestly say, I really don't know the election two years away. But since seeing you broke one record, maybe you might want to think about breaking two, and I'll say, well, what's that? I say, well, my former friend and former elected colleague, uh, Mayor McCallion, she was three months short of being 94. Now I can tell you, I'm still a day or two away from that. <laughs> you do the math. Uh, that's good for at least, what, Rob, three or four more elections? Easily, easily, <laughs> without breaking you know, his way. So that might be another record, you just never know. But on the serious side, once again, I know my uh, family is here. Jerry, if you bring her over here, please. This is my youngest great-granddaughter. And this is my uh, daughter-in-law, Jerry. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Future politician. <laughs> <laughs> it pays to plan well ahead. So, uh, this is it. So, yeah. But again, to my uh, friends and family and my colleagues that turned out here today, thank you very much. And again, I just wish I was a little better uh, voice for them. This is uh, my daughter, Deb, that's just coming into the, uh, the picture here uh, now. And my son, Dave, is around here someplace as well. So what is Dave? Mark, you get over here. Mark is my youngest grandson. And when he gets over beside me here, uh, I'll tell you, he's the smallest one of the year. <laughs> Mark is my youngest grandson. Somebody to look up to. <laughs> so I just want to thank my friends and family very much for being here. You're probably wondering what the heck's going on. Yeah, yeah once we had the grammar. So with that, uh, Jody, who uh, looks after a lot of what uh, I do or don't do, thank you very much, whatever Jody. <laughs> I'm over here, thank you. Back over there. Uh, and now she's going to have to probably ask for forgiveness so I can <laughs> Kept a secret from me. <laughs> Jody and I work pretty close uh, together. Let me uh, share that with you. So I thank you very much uh, for that. And uh, Jody, you want to get over here? No. Uh, I, I'm only assuming that there's something else in the program because you're full of surprises now. I find out there are a few more surprises. So we uh, we have another TV segment in a few minutes yeah, where you'll minutes. have a surprise. And there is a cake straight ahead of you that perhaps you'd be kind enough to cut for us. Okay. If I could ask my uh, my family and friends to join around that cake. Jody, I'm going to get you to lead the way. I'll get the CAO to lead the way. He's okay. the cake cutter. I'll so. get Councillor Luna. Delegation. <laughs> 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 